Brent Roots, thank you. Great to have you with us here on the post game show as the Nets win at 108 to 102. There were a lot of reasons that the New Orleans Pelicans should have won this game from start to finish, maybe a better energy level, but that energy matched in the second half by the Nets, who stormed out of the gate down by 11 at the break. Yeah, that third quarter was a difference. That got him back into the game. The fourth quarter was a slugfest. Think about this. The Brooklyn Nets went nearly four and a half minutes without scoring in the fourth quarter, still managed to win this game, and Kyrie Irving, who struggled all night long, yet in the fourth quarter had some really big moments, as did Kevin Durant. You know, Nick Claxton had nine points and nine rebounds. It seemed like he had 20 points and about 25 <laughs> rebounds. He seemed to have his hand on every single ball tonight. It also shows you, though, Bob, late in game. So C.J. McCollum, who missed a big free throw late, which right after that you had, uh, uh, you know, Royce O'Neal hit a big shot. But when you have two guys that have been in these moments before, despite the fact that Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant were struggling to find their shots, they made plays in the fourth quarter. And the Pelicans tonight, without Zion Williamson, without Brandon Ingram, two guys that can score for you, when it's left to C.J. McCollum, you saw in the fourth quarter, really all New Orleans was doing, they were saying, C.J., try to bail us out. Right. And Kyrie Irving, despite the poor game for three quarters, came up big in that fourth quarter.